Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. This is a lesson on something called supplementary angles. Okay, so I'm gonna have you take some notes for a little bit, and then there'll be some some problem some problems for you to try, and then at the end you can see how you did. All right. So what exactly are supplementary angles? Um, here's an example down here, where we have two angles together. Okay, one's 110 degrees, and the other one is 70 degrees. If you notice, the angles together kind of make half a circle. Okay, and half a circle is 180 degrees, okay? So technically the definition are two angles whose sum equals 180 degrees, all right? So over here we have angle RQP and also M, N, and O, okay? So let's say, for example, if this angle here was 120 degrees, and we know that these are uh, supplementary, that means this angle here would have to be 60 degrees, because 120 degrees and 60 degrees add up to 180 degrees. All right, if you turn the page, now that you know about supplementary angles, now that we, you can write and solve equations involving them. All right, so here we have an angle A, B, K, and also K, B, and C. And we know that they're supplementary. So that means this angle X plus 24 is gonna to add to 180. So let's write the equation as X plus 24 equals 180 degrees. And now we just solve for X, right? Take away 24 from both sides. And when we do this, we get X equals, okay, 156 degrees okay and make sure you include the, the degree symbol all right this one over here is a little more complex so again we know that this angle here and then this angle here together are supplementary so again the sum of these two angles is going to equal 180 degrees all right so we have 5x minus 18 plus 4x plus 45 equals 180 degrees degrees. All right. Now, before we solve, we need to simplify uh, this left-hand side, right? So 5x and 4x add up to 9x, okay? 45 and negative 18 add up to 27. And that together adds up to 180, all right? Now, it's just, it's just a two-step equation, right? So take away 27 from both sides. And we get 9x equals 153 and then when I divide both sides by 9 we got our solution of x equals 17 and there you go okay now it's always good to check your work so if I plug in 17 so 5 times 17 minus 18 and then 4 times 17 plus 45 it should always add up to 180 degrees all right so the next page, there's some problems for you to try. So why don't you pause the video, and then when you're done, hit play, and you can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's see how you did with these problems involving supplementary angles. So here we had to fill in the missing angle measure um, of the supplementary angles. So again, we know they add up to 180 degrees. So this first one, 40 degrees plus 140 degrees, adds up to 180, okay? Here, 130 degrees plus 50 degrees. One degree plus 179 degrees. And then 100 degrees plus 80 degrees for that one. All right, and this one you had to write and then solve uh, for the unknown, okay? So again, these two angles make a half circle, which again, if you skateboard, if you go around half a circle, it's called the 180, okay? So the sum of the two angles is gonna add to 180. So we're gonna have 4n plus 22, that's the first angle, right? Plus 8n, take away 10, is gonna equal to 180 degrees, all right? Now we can simplify the left-hand side, so 4n and 8n gives you 12n. And then the constants 
22 and negative 10 add up to 12. That's going to equal 180. All right. So now it's just solving a two-step equation, right? So take away 12. Take away 12. So now we have 12n equals 168. Divide both sides by 12. Divide both sides by 12. And then when I do that, 168 divided by 12 gives you an n value of 14. All right, how'd you do?